Okay, hello everyone. Today we are going to be checking out this uh, very unusual collaboration. Well, it's the ASRock Sony 7 Z790 PG motherboard. Um, I am confused, but you know what? Let's begin. Action. Okay, so, um, okay, I'm actually super confused with this collaboration. I never thought there would be, like, okay, if the theme was Robotnik, I get it, but it's Sonic. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty basic on the layout. Um, like, if you compare it with some of the other collabs like you know with Gundam collab or the Ava collab uh like this it's it's pretty straightforward but I would say it's on brand because it's Sonic so you know what I'll give it a pass on that okay so let's check it out Okay, let me pull out the camera. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh... Ooh, okay. So, it's, this is probably just my second ASRock board. My first one was a B520M motherboard. So, uh, it's interesting. This is a pretty interesting packaging. Um... Okay, so let's see. Let's unbox it first. So let's see what we get. Get the board itself. You got the manual is actually Sony branded, so that's not bad. Uh, I think that's it. Then you got a couple of. Uh, cable ties, SATA, and then a couple of this screw. So you get SATA and a couple of uh, SATA cable and a couple of the M.2 screws, and of course, your ASRock batch. Okay, so let's pull this out and see. Let's see here. Okay, so looks like, okay, looks like, all right, pulling this out. Ooh, it's a pretty clean design. Surprising. Um, oh, shit. Oh, okay, my bad. Open that up. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Here's the board. Okay. It's... Okay, I... Gotta be honest, I'm a little disappointed. Because mainly, I was expecting most of the board to be blue. Because, again, it's... He's a, a base blue character. And then I would expect... So essentially I'm expecting I was expecting this to be inversed where 
you know the details or like the de uh, the decals are like white and then everything else is mainly blue and yeah it's blue so yeah it's a little it's a little uh, i don't know i i kind of I, I don't know what i'm expecting but but yeah um so this board is actually based on the pg lightning oh sorry not pg lightning um okay so i believe this is one of their riptide this is uh the riptide uh based on the riptide series so you'll see it there um it's weird okay i've never seen this kind of um But yeah, so we get and in the back we get a sonic embossed on the uh, on the main PCB. Two CPU uh, PCI, two eight eight pins. Let's double check the pins if... Okay, gotta be honest, I got this from Newegg, so I need to inspect the pins. Okay. Pins look okay. So, oh. Okay, so... This is very odd. I don't know where this is for. Uh, but yeah, overall, with the, with the design, I'm a little disappointed with uh, the color scheme. It's, I was, again, this is just my expectation that it was going to be mainly blue with um, white highlights. Um, this one, the ring, yeah, it's not even, I thought it was... I thought it was LED, but no, it's like one of those uh, those foil uh, trading cards that I forgot what they're called, but uh, I'll put it on the <laughs> on the video. But yeah, it's a little disappointing. I thought it was, I could have swore it's an LED, but you know what? Okay, uh, yeah, let's build it out and see how it goes. So upon switching the power on, you'll see the only RGB section on the motherboard is below the bottom M.2 heatsinks. Now let's check the post screen. Well, that's a bit underwhelming. I was expecting a pretty flashy post screen considering the character collaboration they're doing. For comparison, here's the post screen for the other motherboard collaborations. Asus's Z590 Gundam collaboration, MSI's B660 AVA collaboration, and finally Asus's Z690 AVA collaboration. Okay, now let's jump to the bio screen. Honestly, the bio theme customization is actually pretty good. The color scheme is great, and you can see Sonic on the right side with a shit-eating grin. Overall, this is a pretty good customization of the bio screen. Now, how does it stack up with the others? The bottom two are Asus's collaboration, and the one on the top right is MSI's collaboration. Honestly, I think MSI's B660 board has the weakest theme customization overall. You won't even see the custom image if you don't switch from easy mode to advanced mode.
So, is the aesthetic tax for a Sonic theme worth it? Just as a reminder, the regular PG Riptide board is 230 USD, while the Sonic theme PG Riptide board is 250 USD. So you pretty much have an aesthetic tax of 20 USD. To be honest, this could have been done better to make it stand out more. I would honestly give it a better recommendation if it actually did a majority blue motherboard. Hell, Asus did a Zaku version of their B550 tough board and it's actually reflective of Zaku colors. While I do appreciate the theme customization they did with the BIOS, it seems that they didn't go all the way through since the post screen was not customized like other AIB collaborations. The other problem I have with the board is the construction. The built-in I.O. seal seems to wobble. Now, I don't know if this is an issue with this board line in general, or is it specific to the Sonic motherboard? Overall, while the attempt to do this collaboration is admirable, ASRock did not fully commit to the theme and proceeded to make half steps, which prevented this from actually being a great collaboration product. Alright, that is my review for the Sonic Z790 motherboard. If you have any questions about the board, leave it down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, that's it. See ya.